I literally food. remember being in the park in New York, and guy tell me like, he's like, "Yo, you're good, man, but you gotta lock in, little man. You gotta lock in, man." You, I was like, "Shut up, you're old. <laughs> Shut up, nigga, you're old." I literally verbatim, "Nigga, you're old. Shut up." <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, that's crazy." What is that? Is that an American thing or is that a black thing? It's a black thing, probably. I think it's an American thing. It's probably a black thing. I think I think like hip hop and black culture is a microcosm of everything that's wrong with America in general. Mm. And I think America just don't respect old niggas. And so black people are just gonna be more vocal and cooler about it. We just gonna be Let like, me think. Think about it. Like you take we we don't we don't respect they we don't want them to retire. We want them niggas to work till they're dead and uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? The only place where old people get any respect is politics. Every other facet of life, we like facts. old nigga get okay. the fuck out of here. Copy. You're right. You you're walk right. To tell the truth, you walk into a store and there's an old nigga at the register, you go, Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. This nigga better hurry up. <laughs> he could be going just fast as everybody you're right, else. You're like, you're damn, right, nigga. You're right, you're right. If they've got somebody young, I'd have been out of here already. You're man. right, you're right. And it should be the opposite way. Should you be should the be opposite. like, yo, look at this guy. Look, like, he's been here for so Look at this. You, oh, he's, this they should wisdom. be cherished. Yeah. Every other culture, damn near, they, they fucking revel in the fact that they're old and shit. Be like, yo, give me all that wisdom. Over here, we'd be like, nah, nigga, shut up. That's crazy. <laughs> look at Benzino. The nigga just dropped a new disc that was decent, and niggas is automatically like, shut the fuck up, Benzino. I can't wait for Eminem. Yeah, that was good enough for Eminem to kill you, you old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Eminem is literally four years younger than this nigga. It don't make no sense, yeah? Like, what's weird about Benzino, like, I know who Benzino is, right? right. Like, if I seen him in the street, like, he the nigga without... Clavicles, I think. Like the nigga, <laughs> he got like he got like <laughs> nigga got like a neck and shoulders. Like nigga got no collarbone. He just got like he, he the nigga that look like he got like a neck and and the shoulders connected to his neck. He look like Sylvester Stallone but, in the movie Ants, nigga. But, but, <laughs> he do the big nigga. He look the, like the guy just, has, just bad face going on. Nigga. The hella thorax, but. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I can't. I can't tell you what this nigga does. And like, Paul was talking to me about him. I'm like, he's like, I'm like Benzino. I'm like, I know Benzino. I could. I could tell you. I could draw this nigga like vividly right now. <laughs> but I don't know why I know him for so. I know he's infamous. in the music. I know he got beef with Tony Ayo and Fifty. Let me ask you a question. You ever heard a song of his, man? Off the top of your head, could you name a Benzino? Benzino don't make music. The nigga is no. It's all he does. What? It's all he does. <laughs> I've heard one song my whole entire life, my nigga. It had uh, Fabulous on it. It's terrible. I went back. My nigga played it one what time. What song? Benzino and Fabulous? It was like boom, 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 boom. That's literally the whole beat. And then he's like, uh, booty, booty, shake your booty. It was trash. <laughs> it had Fabulous on booty, it. Booty, booty, shake your booty. <laughs> booty, booty, booty. Wait, the yeah. Benzino makes music? That's all he does. That's all he's known for. Writing music? No, producing. no, no. He's not even... He's, He's, I, I wanna go, I'm not gonna say he's not that good. I'm gonna say like the writing aspect is. Yo, Benzino, you trash, nigga. We no, don't no, know no, the no, fuck no, you no, are, no, nigga. No. See, this yo, is what I'm saying. It's easy to say, Benzino, you trash. Ass, nigga. <laughs> yo, Benzino, you old, nigga. Benzino, you, you old, nigga. To Benzino, old and shit. No, 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 no. He actually did something great, and it people just refused to give him credit for it. What did he do? He just dropped, so Eminem dissed him again for no reason. I think he was promoting something called Lyrical Lemonade or some shit like that. Some shit I ain't gonna listen to. Lyrical Lemonade is fire. That sounds fire, actually. It's a, it's like an app or something or a, something, I don't know. But it's a platform that Eminem put out this diss track, and he put out the diss track to bring attention to it. And then Benzino dropped the So first... Eminem put out a diss track about Benzino? Yeah, for no so reason. So Benzino's a popular nigga then. He's, so here's the thing. He doesn't know about the first beat. So Benzino, okay, here, let me give you the short history of Benzino. Because right? Eminem is here. Benzino was in a gang called the RSO in Boston in the 80s. They was wild. They was something like the Terror Squad. Yeah, I, I apologize, Benzino. Yeah, yeah, nah. I apologize. He's. I don't think he's no longer connected. You don't got to apologize to him, man. I right, fuck you, Benzino. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's old. He can't, he's not coming right, to get right, you. I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... <laughs> But here's the thing, though. He was in a part of a gang. Apparently, Mark Wahlberg stole a radio out of his car. Mark Wahlberg. Real story? Real story. Uh. And then Mark Wahlberg became Marky Mark. And Benzino said, that's the nigga that stole the radio out of my car. And then they went and 
beat up niggas in the funky bunch and broke niggas legs and shit <laughs> yeah yeah it was that all that epic. all that funky dancing was quiet for that shit they could have two broken legs and shit and so they was like benzino can you please stop beating us up we trying to stay funky and shit <laughs> and benzino said give me fifty thousand dollars and a tour bus and they gave it to him and a nigga went on tour these niggas dropped music and he got famous and then when he went on tour he blew up he blew up here's the wow. thing but here's the, here's the main thing that i know him from because that even that's before my time so what happened was he got with this dude named dave mays who's dave mays the owner of the source and uh he became part owner of the source wow and that's what made his name and um eminem felt like niggas at the source was hating on him and hating on dr dre and then they started beefing. Uh, and uh, cause Eminem that's called out the source. Crazy. Yeah. And to think about wow, Mark Wahlberg, if he didn't steal that nigga's radio, yeah. there'd be no Benzino. Yeah, maybe not. Or maybe, you never know. Cause I, they were like the terror squad in Boston. They were kinda okay, like Okay, 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 okay. They were they were wild and crazy kids, is what All Benzino I know, says. The, I'm so pro fifty. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Southside Jamaica Queens Guy Brewer 156 uh, mm -hmm. Tony Two Time mm -hmm. Rest in Peace George Peterson Right uh, Roddy um, Omar Dion All my friends out there mm -hmm. But So I'm Team 50 Right Always But I just knew There was like Beef between 50 and Benzino or, You know what's crazy Or Tony Yeo 50 they and Benzino They didn't really have That much beef But I, I remember There was some debacle That's when I first Heard his name Oh <laughs> I didn't know who he. I don't know. That's that's, that's all when I, I first heard his from. name too. I just remember him from Tony Ao, Fifty, and Benzino for whatever reason. Eminem dissed him back then. Dropped two full uh, fledged and Benzino that's, disses. And Fifty and Eminem. Okay, 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 okay. And he said, uh, he said Benzino said he's gonna hold me over the balcony. How can he hold me over so balcony without throwing his back out? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> some shit he's bars, like bars. but at least you'll get your wish cause you, we'll both be all over the street like 50 cents and I was like damn destroyed him and that's the last that was the first and last I heard of Benzino then he went broke <laughs> they got he went he lost the source but then you know what happened he kept hustling cause apparently this is what we didn't know about Benzino apparently he's a good guy <laughs> apparently a lot of people like him so he kept doing his thing kept doing his thing got Benzino his daughter got no collarbones that's crazy. That's true. And then he's like shoulders connected to his neck. He had enough stamina to put his daughter on. Do you know who his daughter is? No. Of course you don't, because she's trash. But <laughs> she's popular. Her name is Koi Ray. You ever heard that name oh, before? Oh, okay, yes. That's her. That's, you know see what I'm saying? So look, once again, here's she was talking shit about Benzino. Apparently, apparently. See, look, I don't know who Benzino is. He's like a mythological creature. I hear <laughs> other people talk about him. That girl, Koi Ray. Yeah. So when I go on my YouTube, I always see po I, I'm subscribed to Shannon Sharp. Right. Uh, Poetic Flacco. Mm, never heard of him. Um, very good podcast. Shout outs to him. Um, he just gives the information straight away. Okay. Um, but I guess because I like those mm -hmm. videos pop up. Right. That girl popped up. Coil before. Ray. Yes. And I clicked on it, and she was going crazy on Benzino. Yeah. Some so some interview, and I vaguely remember, but I never knew who he was or what he did. But I saw him on the uh, Real Housewives mm. show. Don't watch that. I never I seen it either. It. But all, all the niggas on it, I never knew. Like the Stevie nigga, I only know him from the show. Right. That you go on the show, he got he got pictures with Jay Z, Fifty, Usher. So he must have been doing music. All these niggas, I thought they were just songwriters. Yeah. Benzino is what I would call like. He took a lot of W's to get where he was at, but then once he got there, he started taking a lot of L's. Mm. So I think his public persona is known as an L, but behind the scenes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He was a worthwhile human being. Shout out to Benzino. And he sounds man. like he's a good guy. I, I just it, saw an interview. I take it back. Shout I out to Benzino. I just saw an interview. Shout out to Benzino. Just saw an interview. Nothing but love, Benzino. Yeah, Benzino. But he's old now. So he's 57 and just dropped the best record he's ever had in his life. Literally might be the best diss that anybody's ever did to Eminem. And no one can possibly perceive that he did this. Of course he did. So everybody's like immediately said, who wrote it, nigga? Duh. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? 
He was like, first he was like, yeah, I had a couple of niggas in the studio and they was helping. They gave me a line. Oh, or two. copy. They wrote for him, which is fine. But and he said they gave me a line or two. But this happens. Nas, would you believe Nas has a ghostwriter? Yeah, don't be disrespectful. I, but but listen, listen, would you believe that? Though? No, it's so not I told true. You. It's not true. Now let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. The last three albums, I think he did with whatever that producer's name is, right? They were hot. They were fire, right? Yes. Or return to form. This nigga Nas flow sounded like 1996 Nas. This nigga was dropping timely punchlines, my nigga. This is when I got suspicious. I said, my nigga Nas, I know you're not on the internet to check out these memes you're referencing, Stop it, man. Nigga. Stop it. Nas is 53 years old. Stop There's it. There's no way on this planet He's the that best. I believe that Nas is writing this shit. I, I, I just don't believe it. I hold Nas in a different light than any rapper. Nas is my favorite rapper to ever live. How, how many fighters on steroids, you think? On any given day, again, any given time. I mean, in the UFC, it, I would say it's a sixty percent of them on steroids. Sixty percent on steroids, seventy-five tried. Agreed. Agreed. Twenty-five percent thorough niggas like myself. How many rappers do you think over the age of forty-five is not taking a line or two from their niggas? I'm telling you, who's not? I tell you, Eminem is not. Why is Eminem not complete trash? That's how I know. That's right. how I know. Because that's what happens. Okay. Jay-Z, he's not. He's great. But you could tell the difference. You could see the decline. You could see the ups and downs. Nas gave me three albums of straight fire after four or five albums of man. I what, just so, can't so, believe it. All right. So what do you think about AZ? AZ is amazing. But you can see the difference. You can see the difference a from AZ's now. AZ's albums now. now. You can see, I can hear the difference in the writing now. A, but even now, AZ is like. He, before he was cutting with, edge. Now he's, you know what I mean? But AZ is still rapping in 2023, 24. AZ is what? And God bless him. He's probably older than Nas, I think. He looks older than Nas S in the same face. Same age, probably up there. But I, I, seen, I see AZ, and I listen to AZ, and I'm like, that's crazy listen, for him uh, being his age, spitting the way he's spitting now. And, uh, I, and, I, and, I, and I feel that I was talking to Julian about that with Nas, too. And he's like, yo, man, like Nas is hitting for being 2023, but I just hold Nas. Too. I hold Nas in a different cool regard. Cool G man. rap as well, but some niggas are just like some niggas are the upper echelon. But here's the reason why Nas, because uh, a per, a writer, a white writer, didn't know what she. I think she was white. Didn't know what she was saying. Oh my bad. I was I'm making noise. Oh my bad. Fuck. Did I fuck it all up? We gotta start over. <laughs> Don't do that shit. <laughs> My bad. Buddy. I was putting Morse code and shit. Only real niggas can hear it. Um, but yeah, nah. So a white writer didn't know what she was doing. She uh -huh. was in the studio writing an article about Nas and started talking about how, um, what's the nigga's name, Paul? The nigga that just did that joint album with Jay Z. No, I can't reverberate, but you over there dropping shit, my nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? You over there playing with action figures and shit, nigga. <laughs> I can't tap the thing. What are you doing, man? You're ruining our podcast. <laughs> Fucking cans. <laughs> what are Quarters you doing? Quarters popping out this nigga pocket. <laughs> Hold on. I, I got it. I got it. Ten <laughs> banana cream pies. Nigga, just spill all that. Is that a telephone? Yeah, it was, that's, that's Lucas Alexander calling. We can't pick up Lucas. Yo, yo, what up, man? Yo. What up? Whiskey, 100%. Lucas know me. Lu whiskey, Lucas know me, nigga. You crazy? <laughs> so look, we on we on the pod right now. Y'all niggas on the podcast. Look, you got we on the podcast right now. I got it. I got it. But I'm gonna tap in. I'm gonna tap in. Ah yo, drunk teammates, but he fucked up the whole. Uh, yeah, no, it's, but, all, it's all good. Benzino. pandemonium. Um, no, no, Jay nah. Electronica, the white lady. Oh, Jay Electronica, that, that he's black. Gave him a couple of lines, and the white lady wrote it in an article, and it was pandemonium and hip hop for about three minutes, and then she said, "Oh, I, I got it wrong. Actually, he didn't give him lines." She's saying what she saw. And she's writing an article, didn't know it was something wrong, didn't know that was a bad thing. So wait, she was in the studio. She was in the studio. That bitch lying. <laughs> okay. They raid the Miami uh, drug Jay cartel. Jay Electronica, the same nigga that was dating that 
billionaire yeah. that broke up her. Can't he trust said, that nigga. He said, I bet you a Rothschild. Can't trust that nigga. I get, I get bang nigga. for my buck. A nigga that said, nigga. The nigga that fucks a Rothschild and can't it says that, that I bet you a Rothschild, I get bang for my buck. Come on, man. Can't trust him. They went to Miami. They broke into the lab. You see what I'm saying? And um, they raided the lab. They got all this niggas on steroids. This niggas on steroids. Guess whose number was on the list, my nigga? LeBron James, my nigga. His name was on the list. This is Duh. verifiable information. My nigga. So here's what I'm trying to say, my nigga. Here's what I'm trying. To, look, he's great. Let him yeah, take it. Yeah. I I prefer it. I prefer Ab him to be great for Absol longer. Absolutely. I want him to play with both his children. Fuck that shit. I don't think though. I don't think is that a bad thing. Do people not think he's on steroids? Yo, there's people that would disagree with us. Would That's disagree crazy. with me. That's disagree. Crazy. Then NBA catches all of two people every three seasons, buddy. That's crazy. Because they don't, they don't really want to know. I mean, there's no way that Steph Curry in the fourth quarter is shooting threes from the half court Le that consistently. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. Le LeBron James is 6'8", 250 pounds, 6% body fat. He's like 80 years old. His Fast knees were court, going last year. Jumps His higher than everybody. Never gets tired. <laughs> Within his eat his greens and drink milk and don't run with scissors. Yeah, sorry, nah. nigga. <laughs> he, me, he's on steroids. Like, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what are we talking it's, about? It's real. Thirty six. <laughs> what are we talking it's about? It's real. You talk to a real live thirty six year old. I used to say, hmm, I'm gaining a little weight. I go outside, run two miles, two miles a day for like two weeks. I drop fifty pounds immediately. I was I'd be <laughs> just immediately, nigga. I, since then, buddy, I can't drop five pounds without yeah. fucking running up hills with weights on and shit like that. Yeah, it's nah. Uh, shout out to LeBron. He's great, but he's yeah, great, and he, I prefer him to be great. Yeah, um, he's definitely 100 percent on steroids. 